Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure industry. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is none other than Mike Jonas. He is the CEO of Light River. Mike, welcome back to JSA TV. Good morning. After three days of ITW, we're still at it. We're still at it here at ITW 2025 in National Harbor. And like Mike said, it is day three, our final day. Uh, and we're saving the best for last. Oh, my. Thank you for that. You're welcome, Mike. So, uh, honestly, such a pleasure to have you back on JSA TV. I mean, we've been hearing that network operators are stretched so thin with smaller teams, uh, less time for proactive network management. And FlexOps, your solution at Light River, uh, seems to be helping. Can you tell viewers a little bit more about that? Yeah, you bet. And thanks for the question. Um, so, yes, the world of connectivity, where we're sitting, is extremely dynamic right now. What AI is doing, we read about every day, but yes. continued growth in video, continued growth in cloud, inputs from cybersecurity are just driving a huge technical skills gap. We just don't have enough people to do all the things that are required, and we, and we won't again. So how can Light River affect a positive change in the marketplace? Well, we've developed our FlexOps software-enabled services suite, which is really the fusion of transport network intelligence with intelligent transport engineering to get more out of uh, the great team we have by enabling them in software to be more productive, to be more thoughtful, and do simple things easily. Um, which it sounds simple to me, but it might not be simple to others. You know, maintain network software and firmware currency. Make sure security patches are filled. Really kind of basic blocking and tackling, but network operators don't always get to it. They've always got a fire burning. And so how can we help efficiently? Well, we're going to use software to make our engineers more intelligent and more productive. And... Uh, that can also lead us to doing more complex things like helping to map a next generation uh, transformation, a new network strategy. What do I have? What is it doing? What else can it do for me? But all of it enabled by technology. Well, Light River always staying ahead of the curve with such an important solution with FlexOps there, um, you know, being reactive to proactive operations and, and keeping things moving there. I mean, with the rise of open multi-vendor, optical networks, service providers are just juggling things here with diverse platforms that don't often speak the same language, yeah. right? Um, and some of the biggest challenges you know, that need to be solved, I believe Neo, uh, one of your other solutions, is doing that. Can you talk to viewers a little bit more about Neo? I can. So uh, kind of in keeping with FlexOps, networks have been developed over 35 years using various vendors, various technologies, various iterations and approaches. Um, today, or until today, we really haven't had the opportunity to unify that and extract um, actionable intelligence from the network because it's not a single data lake. It's a whole bunch of disconnected pods. Right. So... With Neo, we'll take a feed from either one of our software products uh, or current vendor NMS, and we'll combine that information and feed it into an intelligent analytics engine and basically answer questions that an operator might pose. How can I save power? How can I save space? Um, how can I easily groom circuits? How can I easily harvest inventory? So that analytics engine does the math, and then the operator can either make the adjustment to develop their network or we can for them using FlexOps. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely those two solutions work together. They do. It's important. They can. They can, yeah. And we also heard that more organizations are struggling to visualize and manage their hybrid network ecosystems, especially when automation is the goal, which obviously automation is at the forefront, right? Yes. And it should be the goal if it's not the goal. Um, and there's another solution that Light River offers called PRISM. How is this helping bridge the gap between visibility and orchestration? So PRISM is our transport network orchestrator. So it will either from a Netflix uh, API, a Netflix feed, or the TAPI feed from a vendor NMS, combine that data into a single set 
of intelligence. That intelligence then can feed northbound into OSS, BSS, planning tools, um, into NEO itself for those transformational questions. Um, but within PRISM, we've really adopted and embraced the intent-based networking. So PRISM, when it is not feeding another system, has been developed and formatted with a persona-based dashboard approach. What would a CEO want to see about the operation of his network? What would a CFO like to see? Right. So it's fully configurable, but right out of the box, we start with those basic dashboards, things that I'd like to see when I open my laptop in the morning. And uh, fully configurable, but what is a quick snapshot informed by the actual information in your network for how your day is going to go? Well, it definitely sounds like a must-have solution, especially that it can be tailored to different personas. And so all of these solutions can be individualized or combined together? Absolutely. Not everyone is the same. Right. Uh, we have network operators that are brand new, and their mission is the highest capacity throughput ever. We have other operators that are 125 years old, and they have generations of equipment and customers to support. And the combination of Light River's investments in our knowledge-based team is available incrementally or comprehensively. And if viewers want to learn more about these intelligent solutions, where can they go? I bet they could find some more information on lightriver.com and hope they do. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you here at ITW 2025 and at all the conferences where we get the opportunity to catch up with you and learn more about Light River and what it's doing uh, in the industry. So thanks again, Mike. And thank you viewers for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV live from ITW 2025. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.